Hello and welcome back. I am Three Face Janus, and this this thing that I am playing, this wonderful, wonderful work of art, is called Fire Emblem: The Sacred Stones. And now it's the enemy's turn. Aw, you didn't attack Gilliam. Oh well, Gursty is going to go kill somebody because he's bored. Why not? Wouldn't you? Isn't that what everyone does when they get bored? And great, we get some reinforcements over here. Well, they get reinforcements. I wish we could get we reinforcements. <laughs> is that like a is that like a peripheral for the Wii? Yeah. Now, hmm, these guys can't. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, none of the uh, bandits are within range of this space, and so it would be a good idea to move over here and save the village because if you noticed over here after we visited the village they closed the town doors so they're no longer uh, in danger of being destroyed of course it wouldn't really matter if they were because well we already got the items from them but anyway let's visit here what's the ruckus what's all the hubbub bub Then we get a pure water, one of the more useless items in the game. It raises your resistance for a short amount of time, but I really never use those. They're better off being sold. Okay, now, uh, one good thing about Ross, he starts off with the hatchet, and the nice thing about the hatchet is that it can be thrown as a ranged weapon. So as you can see, even though we're two spaces away, we can still hit this guy. Uh, as I said earlier though Ross is rather weak so we're gonna have to go and get Gilliam to take care of him and ah come on he deals 13 and then Ross deals yeah 6 so yeah 20 HP he's left with one life thank you game so can Erica attack okay no that won't work because then he'll have eight. Well, okay, fine. Looks like Ross is only getting partial experience for this one. That's another thing I really like about the Journeymen is that they actually have unique sprites for their battle animations. That's just a very nice touch. Okay, and um, maybe I should explain the structure that we're fighting around. It is not a fort, it is an armory, although it gives the same uh, evade resistant or resistance assistance or bonus whatever as a house uh, if you move someone onto an armory you can go inside the armory and well buy items however in this game that is really not very urgent in other Game Boy Advance Fire Emblems that is much more important because well you don't have the map but in this game you have the map so as soon as you complete a level you can just uh, revisit this area on the map and then buy stuff from the armory that you would need. So the only real point of going to the armory now would just be to get, well, weapons that you need right now. Which, I guess if I needed anything, it would be uh, an iron axe for Ross. Just so that, you know, he has something other than the hatchet. And I think that the iron axe is more powerful than the hatchet. But, uh, anyway... But that's not urgent, so I'm just going to use my turns for other things. Like killing! Killing's always a good start. See, I could have used the rapier, but I want to save uses. The rapier is good enough to keep to the end of the game. Hit him! Ah, I jinxed it. Can anyone else even... Oh, great. I really hope he... Okay, good. I blocked off his movement to Molder there. Because in, you know, every video game, the healer is the weakest one. So, oh yeah, speaking of that, uh, I just remembered. Here's a word from our sponsors. Tired of having your only healing unit die just when someone else is about to? Well, worry no more. The Healer Armor, trademark, is here. Who says that your healers can't wear protective gear like a normal person? The Healer Armor, trademark copyright, takes care of that for you by screwing the rules. So what are you waiting for? A Max Revive? Order your Healer Armor, trademark copyright, all rights reserved, today! And now we've returned. Um, 
Let's see. I don't believe either of them took damage. Yeah. So, I might as well keep Mulder back here. Have the meat shields move further up. And now it's their turn. Oh, and he's actually smart. He's running away into the mountains where he has a much better evade and can heal himself. Okay. This actually isn't that great of a situation because, uh, well, all these guys are around us. And because of my strategy, I don't have, well, that many people that I want to fight with, but I'm going to have to. As much as I regret ever using fronds. Um, yeah, I can probably block in these guys here because, yeah, the forest inhibits their movement, and if I move Franz there and Seth there, then that'll cut off that one who normally could move and get to Mulder, but that won't be a problem. And as for Erica and everyone else, I think I want to, let's see... Uh, again, I just want to save the uses of the rapier. It's just such a good weapon. So, steel sword again. I guess you could also buy an iron sword for Erica. That would be helpful. But, oh well. And then move good old Gilliam down here. Have Ross inflict some damage. Hey, you might get a 1% critical. You never know. And then, uh, yeah, enact my previous strategy. Notice Franz has not got a very high hit percentage. Uh, that's actually not because he's Franz. Uh, it's actually because he, the cutthroats are on the peaks. You'd imagine if they're on the peaks of the mountain and then Franz is in a forest at the base of a mountain, that that would be entirely possible, impossible, but apparently it just reduces your evade or your hit percentage by 40. Oh well. And uh, Vanessa, just go over here. And, yeah. So, everyone that is in danger should be safe now. Except for Ross. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe I don't have to level him up. Maybe Ross is already awesome. <laughs> That's where the luck stack comes in handy, I guess. Ah, 26 hits. Of course, when you play Fire Emblem as long as I have, you see the most ridiculous percentages happening. Not like that 1% that Burguet got. He, that was scripted, so. I have seen 1% criticals genuinely work, though. It'd be nice if Garcia would stop killing all of the enemies. Uh, honestly, now that I think about it, I don't remember how to recru recruit Garcia. You don't attack, you don't talk him with, <laughs> yeah, you don't attack him to recruit him. You don't talk with him with Vanessa. Normally, it, if there's a green unit or even sometimes red units, usually there's a member of your party that you can use to talk to them and that converts them. I mean, if there's one that can be recruited. These guys are all faceless except for Bone, but he's the boss, that's why. Yeah, they have the little see the little in the bottom left, the little symbol. Uh, that means that they're just generic. You can't recruit them. Uh, let's see. Well, um, what I'll probably want to do next is uh, since I got, that guy's on the peak, I don't know how confident I am in Ross's ability. I kind of got lucky on that last one, so... Uh, I guess we'll just have to see, because I'm running out of time. So, next time on Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, we'll find out what we do in this perilous situation here. Can that guy? Yeah. Well, at least he can't get to Mulder. Uh, yeah, you want to keep the Pegasus Knights away from these guys, generally. Unless they're dealing the finishing blow. Anyway, see you next time.